Hi guys and welcome back to Sci Art Shop Channel. Okay guys, on this tutorial I'm going to show you the next stage of how to make your paintbrush cow. Yes, that's right guys, the paintbrush cow. So without further ado, let me put it all back together, uh, together for you and uh, then I'm going to show you how to paint it on the first stage of the painting part. And uh, here's our little brushette. Do you remember this? Uh, we painted it all white give it a uh, base coat and I'm just going to bring in the other bits and pieces and try and put it all back together for you so you know you can remember exactly what it's like and uh, yeah so there's the ears so they're going to go roughly about there and uh, we have our feet now some are bigger than the other so we just need to make sure we remember that's right these are the um, top ones and these are the bottom ones so the bigger ones and uh, we have our tongue. I'll just slip that under there. So this is just to, excuse me, quickly show you what it is. Now there's the um, horns. Now I won't be able to show you too much because I doubt they stay on because they need to be stuck on. But you get the idea. So they're roughly going to go there. And uh, see what I mean? They run away with you. So uh, just uh, imagine them stuck on. And uh, yes, we go from there. That's a tricky one, that one. It doesn't want to stay. There you go. Uh, we've got our eyes in the little sockets. So that's that. And then we've got, I believe, it's just our um, black marks on the actual cow. So they're going to be painted black and then stuck on randomly wherever you want them to go. So we've got a few of those. Um, so some of those will go on the legs. Uh, some have on the body and sort of a jaunty angle. See where the curve was. See, that must have gone roughly there. That one, I don't think it was on the body, but uh, perhaps put that one there. Uh, that one can go up there. You know, there's all different ways of doing it. And then there's three other little ones as well that we can stick on uh, in different places. So we can play around with that once it's all been painted up and we've got our highlights and lowlights and all ready for the final build. Okay, so there you go, guys. That's it in a nutshell. So um, uh, the main part is white. Um, the ears and uh, face will be grey. Uh, the legs will be grey at the top and then there's going to be pink trotters and uh, a pink nostrils and uh, red tongue and then obviously the black bits and pieces to stick on later on so without further ado let's get painting guys okay so i'm just going to take it all to bits again and uh, because we've already given it a couple of base coats of white i'm not going to paint the white bits again white i'm going to leave those so the things that like i just said are white is this part the main part and the eyes so i'm going to put those off screen to one side because uh, they're all ready um for the next part of the tutorial um the next one that's going to come up so what i'm going to do first is i think i will paint the uh let's go for let's go for the gray i think so anything oh and sorry the horns are also white so we don't need to paint those again um so we I'm going to do the grey bits. So we need the ears, the face, and the legs, tops of, uh, to paint grey. So those bits there, 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 and there. So I'm just going to move the rest of this out of the way slightly. And uh, we'll put those over there. So without further ado, let me get my trusty paintbrush and uh, show you how to paint this um, grey. So you need a fairly light grey. So I've got a massive pot. I don't even see this. Absolutely massive pot of white because you can imagine how much paint I use. You probably won't have that amount of paint. You just need uh, an acrylic paint that's white basically. So you don't need loads. So I'm just going to um, show you that. Exactly what I do. Move that down there and put that there and then you can see it all being well. Let me just check the two. You can see this, you can, that's great. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get some white and just uh, dab it on there. So I just need a bit of this. So uh, let's do that now. Just get some on your brush and uh, place it on the foil. And why do I use foil, guys, and not anything else? I find foil um, is easier because at the end of the day, you can just throw that away 
and there's no clean cleaning up to do. But sometimes I do actually keep the foil, even though I put paint on it, because that will all dry. And then uh, future projects, I might need some foil, and it doesn't matter if it's got paint on it, because um, I need it for whatever the actual uh, project is. Um, so I don't actually throw it away either. I try to reuse that. So it's sort of having two uses, which is what I, oh, excuse me, what I like. Okay, now we've got our black, so acrylic black, massive again. Um, you just need a tiny bit of this, and you just pop it on there. There it is. See, there's hardly any there. And then all you're going to do is uh, mix the black with the white, just to make a grey. So there you go. And uh, I've got to say, you need to roughly gauge how much you're going to need. And don't worry if you haven't got enough, because you can add some water with it, just to make it stretch. Okay, and uh, I'm not going to mix it too well because even if there is other bits and pieces like black in it and stuff, I think that will add to the effects. So all you need to do is just pick up your part that you're going to paint grey and then uh, I'll probably tip it on its side like so and then uh, paint it grey. Okay, so there you go. So just get this into those nooks and crannies as much as you can. Don't worry if you paint over and go on to your um, hoof part because uh, that just adds to the effect. So don't get caught up and worried if you're not painting very well because that all adds to the effect. See, I've gone over slightly there. I don't really see that because um, I'm slightly rushing to show you. But don't worry because we're going to paint like this bit grey and then this bit's going to be pink and then in between we're going to do highlights so we sort of cover up those mistakes but like i say it's not really a mistake it just adds character so go with it guys okay okay so let's do the next leg and uh, go around with that okay <clears throat> i'm sure we've got frog in my throat today guys so what's going on there Put that down there. Okay, <clears throat> keep carrying on until you've done all four legs. And it doesn't take very long, does it, guys? You'll be pleased to know. Because I know you've all got busy lives, you've got things to do, but you've got time to make art, I know that. And I find it uh, very relaxing making art. So that's why I make a lot of it. It just helps me chill. Okay, so you've got your um, ear. So uh, just tip it on its side and... Uh, do the side and underneath slightly and uh, that part there you don't need to do the bottom because you're not going to see it so a little, a little side tip there so uh, yes now I'm going to paint all that grey then I need to hold this so I'll be touching the wet paint but don't worry it's all very forgiving at the end of the day, you know what I mean what I'm saying? You do, you do, that's great. Put that back there. And do the next one. Absolutely marvellous, isn't it? I love making these things. And I like it because the paintbrush, after it's been used, gets another life. It doesn't get sent out for the bin men to collect and uh, go into landfill. So, oh, I just dropped it in the paint there. That's one way of getting it painted. Okay, so that's that. And now I'm just going to add a bit of water with that. Just a bit more water, just to make that stretch a bit more. So you get your head, tip it on its side, and just do the underneath and side part. And uh, go all round with that. All very exciting stuff, guys, isn't it? Do you know what I mean, what I'm saying? You do, you do, that's great, okay. And uh, don't forget, guys, if you've got any questions, queries or concerns, please write in the comments below. If you don't understand anything I'm showing you or you've got any ideas or anything you want to tell me, because I'm all ears, guys, I'm all ears. That's a good saying, isn't it? I'm all ears. I'm ready to listen to you guys. OK, so I'm just going to pop that down and uh, put a little thingy on there to keep it down. And then... Get in all that 
paint that and go around like that, I think. I've got quite a lot on there, so I'm just spreading it out. There's a bit of, I don't know what that is, but I'm just getting that, getting that off. And, you know, I've dropped my brush, but that's the way it goes. So you don't panic, just get on with it. Just get on with it, guys. It's all fun at the end of the game, at day. End of the day, that's no good. Uh, end of the day, yes. Okay. So, there you go. So we've got those bits done. I'm just going to wipe my fingers a little bit. Now, I think I will go on to the, let me think, so that's, that's going to be red, and these are, that's pink, and the trotters are pink. Is it trotters? Is that what? No, that's pigs that have trotters, isn't it? This is a cow, so I don't want their feet. <laughs> let me know in the comments below if you know what I'm supposed to be saying. Okay, so I'm just going to clean up the brush before I go on to the pink. Okay, so I'm going to do pink. Now, uh, let me get my white again and uh, pop some. I'm not going to need much of this. So I'm just going to pop some white there. You see that? Hopefully you can. Okay, so I won't do the layers of that. And uh, now I need a bit of white. Now, I, uh, red I mean, but I'm not going to need much. And this is all acrylic paints I'm using, guys. So I've got my red and all i'm going to do is actually put my finger in the pot and get the paint out like that and just pop it there which is plenty that's far too much but uh, it's difficult to judge in this day and age so i'm just going to wipe my little fingers off and uh, i'm just going to take a little bit of that and put it in there see what happens actually i need a bit more i'm going to put it in there that's it to make my pink yeah that's enough okay what's that there I'll take a bit of that. Okay. So now we've got our pink. Oh, that's a lovely pink, isn't it? And I'm going to pop a little bit of water with it just to make it try and stretch. So I'm going to, I think I will do the uh, nostrils first. So again, all you do is just go around the bottom and the edge, all the way around, cover everything. As well as you can, guys, because that's the way it goes, okay? And then get into your nostril cavities, cavities, is that what we call it? And uh, go around like so. Look at that, absolutely marvellous. Looking marvellous already. Look at those, they look like lovely nostrils, okay? I'll put that there. Uh, and now I'm going to do the trotters. Now, I've got to be a bit careful because I've got pink on my hands, so... Hopefully, it doesn't matter too much if you do transfer it over, but I'm going to try and be a bit careful with this. And then you just go around and uh, do exactly the same principle and paint those. Now, I've gone over. Can you see that? Can you see that? I've just gone over there. Don't worry, because that all adds to the effect. Okay, so that one's done. See? How easy and quick is this? And when it's all been highlighted and you've picked out all these little bits and pieces, it will look amazing. And then you varnish it as well, and that really makes it come alive. Really does set it off and uh, makes it a lovely piece of art, guys. Okay, so there you go. I'm just going around all that. There's the other one. You can see all these, hopefully. Hopefully you can. I believe you can. You can, yes, that's good. Now there's the next one. Okay, and uh, just put that in there. Okay, oops, a bit too much, but uh, rub it around, guys. Okay, so that's that. So I think that was all on the pink, wasn't it? That's what we said. So now we need the red. So I've already got red there, so I'm just gonna wipe a little bit of that off. Uh, turn it upside down and do that side and see what how we get on. So I'm sure it will cover red easy. There might be a hint of pink in there because there's still pink on the brush a little bit. But uh, just go with it. Okay. So do the sides. That's it without trying to get it all on your hands. Okay. So there you go. Now I need to do the top. So let me do that bit first. I hope you can see what I'm doing. And uh, yes, there's the next bit. Get it in all those little um, taste buds. I think that's what we said they were. 
Okay, so that's basically it on the tongue. So put that to one side. And uh, now I believe we've done, the white was already done. We've done the gray, we've done the pink, we've done the red. Now we just need to paint all these black. So I just need to clean my paintbrush as you do. It won't matter too much because um, it's black at the end of the day and that covers everything. So uh, that won't be a problem. Okay, so so I've got my uh, luxury uh, foil, which I'm just going to carry on using, and I'm going to get my big massive black pot, tip a little bit out, that should be plenty, and uh, pop the top back on because you don't want it to get all hard and that. And then I'm going to get these, I'm going to move these down slightly, and uh, actually what I do is I'll move that off I'm going to obviously put my brush into that black, so I'm going to move that off screen so that you can see this better. Okay, you're still with me? Hopefully you are. Like I say, any questions, queries or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, so now I'm going to get my black and uh, paint these bits. Now, but this one is curved, so I know that obviously sticks around something, so I'm not going to paint under there. I'm just going to paint along the sides and um, on the top. Okay, you still with me there guys? Hopefully you are and you're enjoying this little tutorial. Okay, you put that there. Oh, I missed a bit, not, not that that really matters. And uh, same with this one. I can tell that is the um, bottom, that part. So I'm going to just go around and uh, paint that like so and get that all in there. Now I am going to put a little bit of water on with this black because just to make it um, cover this a uh, little bit easier. Okay guys, now this is the bottom again because that's curved so I know that actually fit, if you can imagine that fitting around something on a part of the um, brush so that's why I know that bit is the bottom. So I'm just going to go around the sides first, because that's my normal way of doing it. And then paint that bit like so. And again, we've got a little curvy bit going on. So I know that's the bottom, if you can imagine that. And uh, I'm just going to paint that black. I don't know exactly where it goes, because I can't remember. But we'll play around with it when it's all dry and uh, try to find out where I put it originally. I suppose you could always, sometimes I take pictures um before i take these to pieces and then you know exactly where it went but i haven't done it on this occasion because you know it's just a way i roll and uh, i'm not really worried and it just adds the effect uh that is the bottom i think and that's the top because that's smoother so i'm going to go with that you know if i do get it around the wrong way not a problem it will just add character like i said before and uh, we'll just pop it on somewhere you know no one's going to know anyway, unless I watch this video that it's done wrong. Uh, but uh, yeah, so there you go. You've got another bit that's sort of folding over. So I know that's the bottom. So I'm just going to paint the sides first. That's per normal. That's the brief, as they say. And pop that down like that. Now, I've seen these bits that I've missed. But because this is a black and white cow, it doesn't really matter. Because it just adds the effect. Again, we've got a curve going on. You can imagine that. Okay, so I know that's the bottom, so I'm just going to go along and do this like so. Okay, and again like this. I'm hoping you can see all this, guys. Hopefully you can. Put that down like so. Get a little bit more paint on my little brushette and uh, paint that like so. Okay, there you go. There's another one. And... Uh, the last one and then we can uh, put this to one side and let it all dry properly it will dry it well I'm in a, an environment that's very hot so it's going to dry really quick um, but you know you may want to leave it a day or so before you carry on with the next bit because you do want to make sure it's very it's all dry and nicely uh, nicely set okay so that's it guys um, we're all there, so um, I'm, like I said, I'm let it all dry, 
and uh, I'll come back with the next tutorial and show you uh, how to do the highlights and lowlights. And then once that's dry, we do, I'll do another tutorial to show you how to put it all together and we can decide exactly where everything's going to go, stick it all on a board, and then you'll see it in uh, full Technicolor and all 3D. And it'd be marvellous. And you'll think, oh, wow, I just need to make one of these, Simon. And uh, you'll be sending me loads of videos of clips of me making them and, uh, you know, pictures of you uh, making them. And, uh, you know, it's, it'd, be, it'd be global, you know, it'd be a viral thing and it will all be out there and you know everyone will be wanting to make these luxury cows and sheep and things and uh, other animals but uh, we don't know what those other animals are yet because I'll be doing a poll on Instagram and asking you guys what animal you'd like me to make as a paintbrush um, but yeah that's the way it goes so anyway I'm waffling on so I'm going to go for now so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and uh, tell all your friends and family to watch my uh, clips YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Because you never know. You, you can always learn something new every day. And this is art and this is having fun. And uh, we can do it all together. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So thanks for watching. See you all again soon. And uh, yeah, bye-bye for now.